For preparing paneer sizzler, the things we require are 250 grams of paneer or cottage cheese, half a cup of maida or all purpose flour, yellow bell pepper deseeded and cut half, red bell pepper deseeded and cut, green bell pepper half. Half a cup of sweet pineapple, two medium sized onion, two tablespoon of garlic chop, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, four tablespoon of tomato ketchup, one teaspoon of sugar. 1 teaspoon of white pepper powder 1 4 teaspoon of ajinomoto 1 teaspoon of red chili powder salt according to taste 4 teaspoon of dark soy sauce 2 teaspoon of white vinegar cabbage leaves butter 2 teaspoon so friends today we are going to make paneer sizzler it's a simple dish but we are going to serve it in a sizzler tray and if you are fond of cooking and you love to throw parties for your friends and serve something special then you must have it this is wooden tray and if you are using it for the first time, soak it in water for some time so that it won't break. This is cast iron tray. Wash it and we have to heat it. And before serving, we will place this cast iron tray on this wooden tray. And we have to be very careful because it gets very hot. And before uh, putting this cast iron, it is better to place this foil paper on it and place this tray. And now we have to put lettuce leaf or cabbage leaves, whatever you have. And the cooked item will be placed on it. And on sides we are going to apply some butter to get that sizzling sound. So keep it aside. I have cut this cottage cheese or paneer into longitudes and this is 250 grams of paneer. Just wash it with light hand, drain out all water and sprinkle some fresh water on it so that our material will be well coated and now sprinkle some salt according to your taste or liking about half a teaspoon of it and mix it well add red chili powder according to your taste this is white pepper powder I am going to add just half of it that means half teaspoon if you don't have white pepper powder you can also use black pepper powder or kali mich powder mix everything well This is a Ginomoto and if you like you can use otherwise you can also do without it but it gives wonderful taste to the uh, paneer. Add 2 teaspoon of dark soya sauce and mix all these things well. Now it's time to uh, sprinkle or coat with maida. Add in small amounts, toss it well. And add according to your requirement. Now it's well coated, it's ready. Heat up oil, the oil should be hot, and we have to fry them from both the sides till they get crispy. The oil is hot. Be careful and fry them.
within one and a half minutes they are ready our paneer pieces are ready just take them out from the oil and keep them aside now this is two tablespoon of oil the same oil in which I have fried my paneer pieces it is still hot add these garlic pieces and we have to fry this garlic till it gets little pinkish these are onion and it's time to add onion and remember we don't have to cook them much they should be crunchy all these vegetables we are going to cook for a little time now this is green capsicum deseeded and cut just like we have cut our paneer pieces this is yellow bell pepper and this is red bell pepper don't overcook them they are looking so beautiful cook them for a minute and sprinkle some salt so that they will get little tender and now it's time to add our fried paneer pieces mix these paneer pieces well with the capsicum and bell peppers now add sugar add rest of the white pepper which we have kept add white vinegar add little bit of red chili powder if you like or you can also do without it and now it's time to add 2 to 3 teaspoon of dark soy sauce finally we are adding tomato ketchup to it this is 4 tablespoon of it and now mix everything well the flame should be high and finally I'm going to add this pineapple this is sweet pineapple I always prepare it at home but if you are not having the home one you can uh, buy the tin one and cut them into longitudes and add it in the end we are going to end it don't overcook it it gives a very nice sweet and sour taste and you can see the heat the fume and it should be very hot and be careful while handling it here our vegetable is ready you can see now carefully handle it with tongs and place it on wooden tray now we are going to put the leaves whatever you have cabbage or any other leaves you have and quickly serve it my house is filled with the wonderful aroma just give it a try it's not very difficult I'm sure you're going to love it and you can enjoy it as a snack as a sna starter or even with roti or chapati and now from sides put butter and next time don't look to go out for this simple recipe try it at home I'm sure everyone will going to love it and you'll get lots of appreciation enjoy your cooking and subscribe my channel have a nice time